Praise God. Good morning, one and all. Welcome to our morning's devotion. We are happy to have you, whoever you are, and wherever you are. And so we are happy that you took the time out to log on on Facebook and to spend this moment with us. Good morning again, my two sisters, biological sisters, and 
also the rest of persons. Good morning, Sister Carmen, and all the others who have joined us so far. And so, let us pray as we proceed. Father, we thank you for the night and for the blessed morning light, for rest and food and love and care and all that makes the world so fair. We thank you for this Monday morning that we have never seen before. I pray that you will help me to speak whatsoever you will have me to speak and help me to do whatsoever you will have me to do. Lord, I pray for your guidance as I share your word in this devotion. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. And so we are happy that song said from a distance. Amen. And it says, God is watching us. My sister said, nice song. Amen. And so we are happy for that songwriter who took the time out to write that song. And also we are here today to worship God and just remember that he's watching us at all times. I, and so I want to use for a topic today. It is never too late for a shower of rain. Amen. That's my topic today. It is never too late for a shower of rain. And so it doesn't matter what time is it, my brothers and sisters, when the rain ready to fall, it is going to fall. Whether it's 12 o'clock at night, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, it doesn't matter what time it is. When the rain is ready to fall, you will hear something beating and you're all stopped. And when you look out, you realize that the rain is coming down. And so we're not here to really focus on the physical rain, but we're here to focus mostly on the spiritual rain. Amen. And in the context of what God can do for us. And so in our lives, as we live from day to day, we will realize that sometimes situation may arise and we are wondering at what power we will get our change. And just as how we don't know, sometimes we, are, we might not be sure. You might have some clothes on the line and you're not certain if the rain is coming down. But all of a sudden, you hear the rain beating on your house up and you rush out and go and get your clothes. And so sometimes, guess what? Just as how the rain come down, sometimes you may not expect it. Sometimes God may work in your life. And so when we are living on this earth, we have to remember, just as how the rain shower down at some unusual hours that you don't expect, maybe two o'clock in the night, three o'clock, all of a sudden you hear the rain coming down. It's the same thing with God. Sometimes you may expect God to come at five o'clock, but he might not come at five o'clock. You may expect God to come on Monday. He may not show up on Monday. You may expect God to show up on Tuesday. He might not show up on Tuesday. But guess what I have to tell you? It is never too late for a shower of rain. Because just as how you may expect and say, wow, the place looks black up. You're expecting the rain to fall by two o'clock. And you're saying, all right, I'm going to take up my clothes. I'm going to rush and get my clothes quickly. But guess what? When you take up your clothes, guess what? Sun might come out back and no rain might fall at that time. Then now you might say, all right, you're not looking for the rain to fall again. Then after a while, you might just hear a big shower of rain coming down. And so sometimes we may not be able to tell when God is going to work for us. But remember, it is never too late for a shower of rain. Our duty is not to tell God when. But our duty is to pray and believe in him. He is the master and he knows what time to send the rain. And so you may not be able 
to tell the time when the rain is coming. But you are able to set your job. Amen. You are able to set your job. Make sure that your job is ready to receive the rain. So you might not be able to tell if rain going to come exactly five. You are, you are not able to tell exactly if the rain is going to fall at six. But guess what? What you can do is to set your job. Open your tanks. Get your vessels ready. Because at the hour, there shall be abundant rain. And so it is never too late for a shower of rain. The rain will come down and beat on the ground. It will beat and fill up your containers. Rain washing all over the land, watering the crops and bring forth, bringing forth blessings upon the earth. But if you don't have a container, you will not be able to receive that rain. And so if your job is covered and your job is not open, that's a big mistake you can make. If you are, amen, somebody said we better get ready, amen. And so if your job is not ready, then you're going to be in trouble. Because if the rain come down and your job is covered and there is no room to receive that water, then the water is going to beat upon the top of the drum and run down and you're not going to be able to store that water. But if your drum is clean and empty and open wide, when the rain come down, then you know that your drum will be filled with abundant rain. And so it's never too late. Don't take it for a joke. Don't leave your drum covered. Don't leave your drum filled with dirt. Because you might never know what hour God may pour out his rain in your life. It's never too late for a shower of rain. The story went back to the book of St. Luke, chapter 23, from verse 39 to 43. It spoke about two thieves who were dear with Jesus Christ. And were, as Jesus was dear in pain, in agony, as he was suffering on the cross. Two thieves were there. But two thieves, they had two different attitudes. One of them said to Jesus Christ, the Messiah. If you are the Christ. Or if you are the Messiah. Save yourself. And save us too. The other one said, no. You don't see that we deserve this punishment. We deserve this reward. But this man he did nothing wrong. And so he went on to say, Lord, remember us me when thou enterest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said to the man, Today you will be with me in paradise. It's never too late for a shower of rain. The man was a thief and he was on the cross and he was about to die. But even though he was a thief, and he was on the cross and he was close to death. But it was never too late for a shower of rain. Because while he was there, Jesus looked and said, Today you will be with me in paradise. And so it doesn't matter who you are or where you are from. Whether you're a thief, a criminal, a murderer, a homosexual, a robber. It doesn't matter who you are this morning. As we and on Monday the 26th of April, it doesn't matter who you are, if you are a porn star, a prostitute, or whoever you are, I have one thing to tell you. It is never too late for a shower of rain. Just as oh this thief as he was on the cross, and as he was there, he was looking towards his death, crucified in the midst of his sadness. He said to Jesus Christ, when he was aware of who was in his midst, when he was aware of the Messiah, the, the one who is spotless, holy, omnipotent, full of grace and truth, merciful and plenteous in love and kindness, when he recognized the God who was beside him, he said, Lord, remember me when thou enterest 
into thy kingdom. And we can learn from this lesson. We can have the same attitude of this thief. Even though he was a thief, but his attitude was right. And he said, Lord, remember me. And so just as all this thief said to Jesus, remember me. Today I want to ask you, what are you going through? What are you going through? It's never too late for a shower of rain. Are you ready for the rain? Are you ready for the rain? That's my question. And so I heard, I saw a quote on Facebook. The author is unknown. I don't know who it is. It says, no matter how far you have gone on the wrong road, turn back. Amen. Turn back. Let me read it again. No matter how far you have gone on the wrong road, turn back. Amen. You see, the thief was on the wrong road, going down to hell and destruction. But the thief realized that he was on the wrong road. But what the thief did, even though he was so far down the road, heading towards hell and destruction, the thief turned back. Amen. The thief turned back. He spin around and looked towards Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when thou enterest in thy kingdom. And so I want to ask a question. Is there somebody today? You're on the wrong road, going down towards sin. Maybe you might be taking drugs. Maybe you might be planning to kill yourself. Maybe you might be planning to do something that God would not have you to do. But the good thing is that it is never too late for a change. If you're on the wrong road, going down to destruction, I want to say something to you, my brother, my sister. Turn back. Spin around the vehicle. Move around and turn back and go the next way. You see, if you're a gunman, a thief, Sister Wab said, God can turn any bad situation around. Amen. And so, it doesn't matter what road you are, you can turn back. I remember Jonah as he was sent to Nineveh. And he disobeyed God. And you know the story well. Maybe you would have known that story. And when he was cast out of the ship and he was thrown in the water, he was swallowed by a fish. But while Jonah was in the belly of the fish, Jonah decided to make a change. Even though he was on the wrong road because he didn't want to go to Nineveh, he was heading to Tarshish. He was on the wrong road. But guess what happened? While he was in the belly of the fish, Jonah cried out in chapter 2 verse 1. He prayed unto God from the belly of the fish. And in verse 10, the Lord spoke to the fish and he commanded the fish to go and vomit Jonah out on the dry land. It's never too late for a shower of rain. It's never too late, my brothers and sisters, for a change. I don't know what you're doing or what you're struggling with. Whether you're struggling with smoking, maybe you're wondering when you're going to stop smoke, when you're going to stop taking drugs, when are you going to stop doing certain things. But my brothers and sisters, it's never too late for a shower of rain. I remember Anna, she could not give birth. And she prayed unto God, prayed over and over again. And she prayed persistently, consistently. And she prayed with much prayer and determination. She was zealous and she continued to pray and pray. But the other lady, Penina, mocked her. But she did not give up. She prayed. She did not, maybe she did not know at what hour the rain would have fallen. But guess what? She prayed consistently and then it came to pass that on one day the rain began to fall. He gave birth, she gave birth to a man called Samuel and Samuel became a prophet, a great prophet in Israel. And so my brothers and sisters, it's never too late for a shower of rain. Are you planning to be a Christian? Yes, you can still be a Christian. 
Are you planning to change your life? Yes, you can still change your life. Did you go to the other man? Yes, okay. God still can forgive you. Did you go and curse bad words and I'll do our man of evil? Yeah, that doesn't matter what you have done. What have you done? Is there any sin that is too big for God to forgive? Is there any sin that you have committed that God will not forgive? Amen. And so Jesus said all manner of sins will be forgiven. The only sin that you will not be forgiven of, the Bible said, is when you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. And so today, I want to say, my brothers and sisters, all manner of sin will be forgiven. And so today, a lot of persons today, probably we could say they have not blasphemed. Because in order for you to blaspheme, you will have to reach a serious level where you go against the Holy Spirit. And so, if you have not blasphemed, there is nothing to stop you from being forgiven. And so today, I remember also there was a man, as I come to a close, there was an important man. He was sick for 38 years. And while he was there sick, imagine if a man is sick for 38 years. Imagine if you have a particular illness. Maybe you would have asked persons to help you. Or maybe you'd have been to the doctor. Maybe you'd have suffered so long. How would you feel to be sick for 38 years? This man, while he was sick, Jesus came and approached him. But guess what? It was not, it was never too late for a shower of rain. And Jesus came and asked the man, Will thou be made whole? And Jesus commanded the man to take up his bed. And walk that was the day of the man's deliverance and before the man was delivered the man was explaining to Jesus that he didn't have anybody to help him but the thing is he did not have anybody to help him but Jesus was there to help him it was not too late for a shower of rain I remember also the woman with the issue of blood she was sick for 12 years and she was suffering from that bleeding condition. Imagine if you are bleeding, suffering for 12 years, spending all your money on doctors, moving from doctors to doctors, and you cannot get healed. Imagine how painful that must have felt. You go to Dr. Roberts, he cannot help you. You go to Dr. Samuels, he cannot help you. You go to Dr. Dr. Jones, he cannot help you. You move from doctor to doctor. You move from KPH. You move from dear to dear. And you go all about. And they still cannot help you. Imagine how sad it would have been. How painful it would have been. You move to the US. And you said, all right, like we're overseas now. We must can get some better, get better. When you go overseas, they still can't help you. They try and try. They move you from one state to another in, you, in America. They cannot help you. How would you feel if you are in that position? This woman for 12 years would have spent all the money that she had and she could not get her healing. But you know the good thing? It was never too late for a shower of rain. When she met Jesus, she said, if I can only touch the end of his garments, then I shall be made whole. And the woman by faith reached out and touch Jesus by faith. And that from that day, she was made whole. Because what? It was never too late for a shower of rain. Whether it's two o'clock, I don't know. Whether it's three o'clock, I don't know. But brothers, my sisters, our duty is not to worry about the time. Pray, believing in Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you pray, believe that you receive them and he shall have them. You don't know the time when the rain is going to fall. But don't worry. Pray by faith believing, for you don't know when the rain is going to come down. Set your jaw, set your tank, and get your vessels ready, because at the hour there shall be abundance of rain.
And when the rain come, you don't want to be running up and down and wondering, my God, where are... You don't want to be wondering, where is my job? Where is my job, my tank? You don't want to be running up and down to buy job when rain fall. Eh -eh. At that time, you don't want to be running to buy job. Your job should be ready and open wide so that the rain, when it comes, it will fill it to capacity. Amen. Believe. The Bible said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the midst of the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe whatsoever he asks that it shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. And so today, my brothers and sisters, as I close, According to David Gozik, these are some points that he gave that caused people not to be changed. These are some tricks from the devil. One, have you ever been in a situation where, you, where something come to your mind and said, it cannot change? That's one trick that can cause you not to be changed. If you don't believe that God can change you, then you, you, you can have a hard time receiving your breakthrough. If you don't believe that God can do it, then guess what? Your heart is in unbelief and it is difficult for God to work on your behalf. A matter of fact, Jesus could not work certain miracles because some people did not believe at one point. And so that's one trick that can stop you from getting a breakthrough. And next thing that can stop you, if you think that God can only work one way, that can be a problem also if you only believe that God can work one way. Why the only way God can help me is unless such and such help me. Or is unless such and such happen. But I want to give you a joke. God can work mysteriously in a way that you did not expect. You want school fee to pay? You want your house or whatever? Maybe the source that you're looking for to help you may not always be the source that God used. Maybe you're looking for Western Union. But who to tell? Maybe God might use somebody else to help you. Amen. It is not our duty to tell God how to function. Our duty is to believe in Him and allow him to function amen another thing that we also have to think about that we don't want to stop us is we don't want to say even if god does something it won't be enough we don't want to think that way that boy you know that god can't really do it though he's not gonna be able to do enough that's a trick from the devil you know like you're praying for something and you say but why I mean, I think God can't really manage to take on so much things, you know. It's like you're thinking in your mind that, boy, maybe God now will really be able to come through in such a way to help you to, to make it, you know. So you're thinking that, boy, you don't think that God really, God, you know, you know, really possible for God really come through to make certain things work out. And so you might start to think a lot of excuse might come to your mind. And you start to say, boy, you know, think it is able. You don't think, why God really can go really change the situation there again. I don't go already. And so these are some things that can help us to put God in our box, as Simon Dennis said. And these things can stop us from getting our breakthrough. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that it is never too late for a shower of rain. We are happy today, God that we are, we are able to receive abundance of blessing pouring out in our lives. Financial blessing, healing in body, soul, and spirit. We are able to receive abundance of rain. Abundance of rain in marriages, in our homes. Abundance of rain in our lives. Abundance of rain in our bank accounts. Oh God of heaven, we are happy today that it is never too late for a shower of rain.
as we look to you by faith and we, we call upon you today, help us to believe you with all our hearts, not wavering or doubting, but trusting you that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly to heal cancer, diabetes, or whatever sickness, to change marriage life, to fix homes and mend the broken heart. You are able to repair the damaged hearts and minds. You are able to turn around the life of people today, prostitutes, killers, robbers, murderers, and all manner of people. You are able to bring forth change and deliverance from east to west and from north to south. God of heaven, I pray that today that you will bring forth a change in the life of every person who is online right now viewing and even those who will view. I pray for a change. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray pray that there will be a change in the life of every person. A change for the, for the better. According to the will of God, I declare a change in the life of every person who is, who is on Facebook. And those who will be viewing, I declare a change for the better. According to the will of God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. It's never too late for a shower of rain. And we look to God for a change. In Jesus' name. God bless you today. Join us tomorrow as we continue to look for abundance of blessing to fall down from God and God alone. And so have a good and godly day. And don't forget to read your Bibles and pray. Join us tomorrow at 7.30 as we continue to worship Jesus Christ. God bless you today.